Hello, this is Ari Vagabond Jerry. And believe it or not, this is my last video in this series of my summer 2022 adventure of driving along the south shore of the Great Lakes. And in a few years, I'm going to do another series driving the north shore of the Great Lakes, all of which is in Canada. But now at least I've got this part done. Check it off my bucket list. So here at Indiana Dunes National Park, it is just east of Gary, Indiana, a little ways south of Chicago, Illinois. And this is a new national park for me, so that's another bucket list <laughs> it's going to be taken off of. There's a lot of nice beaches here that are surrounded by some really big sand dunes. So let me show you around the park. This is the West Beach, which I think is probably the most popular area in the national park. And you can see some of the dunes up here. Wow, some even have trees growing on them. Almost right out on the beach, they have trees growing here. They have concrete and wooden walkways here, which ends right there. Here's a shot from out on the beach and looking back at the dunes. Steps coming down from the walkway out coming from the parking lot. Thinks they're trying to dig a, build a hill there. It's some really nice looking sand. And the water looks clean. And the bottom, I can't tell for sure, but it looks pretty smooth. There's somebody in a personal watercraft that is towing a skier. Here you can see how shallow the water is. Those people are pretty far out and it's not even up to their waist. The beach is right over that hill, and they've got a pond here, and this gives a good view of the sand dunes. And this tells a little bit about them. Here's some more dunes. They're mostly, as you can see, vegetation covered. Here's a picnic area right next to the parking lot restroom building there. And there's some sand dunes here that you can climb up if you so desire, which I don't. <laughs> it gets really hot doing that especially on a hot day like this I've climbed sand dunes in other areas and as you may well know when you're trying to climb up this you take two steps forward and you fall back one so it's a lot of work to get up a tall one
They even have a drinking water fountain way up here. I wonder if it works. Well, a little bit. And they also have here, though, one of these bottle fillers. Here's some more dunes. And look at this. They've got these stairs going up. Some people just went up it. I wonder what's up there. Too bad I don't have the energy to climb all those stairs <laughs> at noon in this heat. Now I'm going to do the Portage Lakefront and Riverwalk Trail. It's up Riverwalk Drive, which goes along a waterway here that they call the Burns Waterway, which goes up to Lake Michigan. And there's a big beach right there. They've got this big building here. And then this is a really nice view of this beach. Let me zoom in and look at the shoreline there. That's a really nice big beach. Wow, look how many umbrellas and tent there are. And a lot of people out in the water as well. Pretty far out there. And look, it's just barely up to their waist. And this is how far out they are. Right beside that big building, you get a much better view of the beach. And way down at the end, is I don't know what that is it's a really big like three story or four story building don't know and I'm standing right next to the big building here and that pretty much is just a snack bar and for some odd reason they also sell clothes here <laughs> Well, I think I see what my lunch is going to be. <laughs> well, this guy looks excited to take off. <laughs> he came out from here. This is where the boats come in and out of this. What is it? A lagoon, you might say. The boat launch must be somewhere down here to the right. And they've got this long walkway. on top of, oh, a pier, I guess you would call it. There's somebody. It goes out to, where does it end? Looks like it ends nowhere. There's a lighthouse out here, but I think you gotta climb over those rocks to get to it. Well, wouldn't you like to spend your Sundays doing that? This is a Sunday, by the way. And now look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More boats coming out. We've got this boardwalk that goes down to the beach. And guess what? It's way over on the other side of the lake there. What do you think it is? That is 
far as I can zoom in, that is parts of Chicago. It's not the downtown buildings, obviously, but it's the south end of Chicago. Okay, I found it. You want to see downtown Chicago? There you go. Is that the Willis Tower? Sills Tower in the middle? Can't quite tell, but it's the tallest one that I can see here. Yeah, that's got to be it right in the middle there. Where I was just in my last video. Go up to the observation deck. 103rd floor. And up from the beach here. It's one of the big dunes. There's somebody right in the middle of it. Three people. A couple and their kid. Climbed up the dune there. It's a big one. Got one lonely bird out here. Where is all of his friends on a Sunday afternoon? The inside of the building here looks like it's just for special events. But they have a nice cool patio here to eat your lunch. Several miles east of Indiana Dunes National Park is Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, <laughs> which is what this area is. The shore itself is part of the National Lakeshore. However, these are residential private buildings, homes, I mean, as the National Lakeshore is way down at the bottom of that cliff right there. But there is something interesting here to see. It's what's called the House of Tomorrow. And this is it. <laughs> With all that construction paper around it. It was made of glass to attract the heat in the winter for economical heating of the home problem is it also tracks the heat in the summer. <laughs> Inside it looks like a fairly normal home and once they get it restored that's what it should look like. Here's some more information about it and that pink house over there is called Florida Tropical and next to it is this really nice looking home there's the house of tomorrow and I'm not sure what's significant about that one and then here is an express uh, <laughs> cypress log cabin it was all introduced at the 1933 Chicago World's Fair well folks there was three or four other beach town areas I wanted to show you but I couldn't because the parking lots were full and I'm in my motor home today instead of my motor scooter. This is Washington Park Beach which is a city park just outside the boundaries of Indiana Dunes National Park. So I came here mostly just to give an ending, a nice ending, to the video. So now, since this is my last video of this series, I am going to be now working my way back down to Texas. And I'm planning my fall and winter adventure, which it's going to be really exciting. I'm actually going to Mexico this winter. 
Now from here, way off into the distance, I can see some of the dune beaches in the National Park. That's not the one I was at last, but it's a little closer to where I am now. Well folks, please give me some comments below about this video or any other videos you've seen recently in this series of my driving along the Great Lakes. Good day folks.